for more information related to the civil engineering concepts and civil engineering updates please visit my website civilbasics123.com go to type civilbasics123.com in google so that my website will be open here like this so which is consisting of all detailed concepts related to the civil engineering topics so please follow my website civilbasics123.com in this video lecture i will explain you complete detailing of four story apartment building by using e tap software so in my previous video i was explain the concept which is related to the g plus to structural model detailing so in this video i will cover the concept which is related to the small apartment structure which is of g plus 3 structural model okay so initially i am selecting this e tap software so it will be consisting of the modeling process so this is my building model which is related to the four story apartment small apartment structure so firstly i will show you this respected properties for the building structure go to define option click on material properties so for this building i was taken m25 grade concrete for the columns and m20 grade concrete for the beams and m25 grade concrete for the slab section so i was taken hysd bars of 500 grade steel for the respected section okay so now i will show you the properties which is related to the beam sections column sections okay go to define section properties frame section so here i was taken approximately of our uh, dimensions is 10 inches cross 18 inches for the beam and 10 inches cross 16 inches for the column number one again i was taken 10 inches cross 20 inches for the respective second column okay so again after this we need to see the slab section go to section properties slab section here so here i was taken 150 mm for this respective slab okay so after the analysis process completed we need to add the strips for this respected building model okay so for that go to edit option so click on add edit strips option click on edit strips option so here we need to add the strips as per our consideration so initially i am selecting this respected ground story with the strip layer is x and a click on apply option so after that we need to apply the strips for the respected y direction condition also with the strip uh, layer is b okay so here i am selecting y direction with the strip layer is b here click on apply option so again in the same process we need to apply the strips for the remaining stories also so here i am selecting the story number one which is related to the x type with strip layer is a click on apply option in the same process we need to apply the y direction strip condition system so here i am selecting the direction is y condition with strip layer is b click on apply option so that it will apply the strips for the respected y direction condition again in the same process i am selecting story number two with strip layer is x with the strip layer is a click on apply option so now i am selecting in y direction condition select the strip will be of y direction condition with the strip layer is b here click on apply option so that it will apply the strips for the respected y direction condition for the second story in the same process we have to select the story number three which is related to the x type of the strip select the a layer here click on apply option so that it will apply the strips for the respected uh, third story again in the same process we have to change the direction to y direction click on select your b layer click on apply option so that it will apply the respected strips for the y direction condition system so after applying all the strips condition we need to uh, analyze the structure once again okay so for that firstly we have to click on the run analysis option okay so it will do the analysis process for this respected building structure so for this small apartment building structure just i was consider the load cases which is comes under the gravitational loading condition system as well as the lateral loading condition system okay so why because we need to consider this respected height is greater than 10 meter that's why we need to consider the wind loading condition i was taken this respected building by assuming it will be consisting of zone 4 condition that's why i was taken zone 4 condition system as per the is 1893 code provisions okay now we can see after the analysis process completed that deflection diagram is showing here like this so firstly we have to do the designing for the frame section go to design option for that select the concrete frame design select the view revised preferences option so we need to select the is codal provision so again we have to go to design option concrete frame design click on start design check so that it will start designing your respective frame section for the column section beam section under considerations of the respective load cases now we can see it is moving the red mark for the respected beam section so after designing the beam section it will design the vertical section which is related to the column so now we can see it will design the respected column section here like this okay now we can see after completing this respective step complete diagram is showing here like this which is indicates your uh, pink color mark as well as the red color mark the red color mark indicates your respected beams and columns are failing under considerations of the load cases okay so firstly we have to uh, design the slab section also so for that just i am selecting the slab section view revised preferences select the is codal provision from here 
again we have to select the slab section click on the start design check so firstly we have to select the strips which is related to the story 3 story 2 story 1 and ground click on ok option so that it will do the start designing check for the respected slab section under considerations of the ladder loading condition system as well as the gravity loading condition system so now you can see it was it was designing your respective strips condition under applications of the loads ok So here the complete pressure diagram which is related to the slab section is showing here like this. So after that we have to save this model till now. So control S option so that the model will be saved here like this. So close option here. Okay. So now we have to import this respected model to CSI detailing version. Okay. Just I am selecting CSI detailing 18 version software here. The software is opening here like this. So click on the file option here. Okay. Select the file option. So click on a new detailing option. So in this we need to select the file initially just I am selecting the desktop apartment structure gb.edb file so initially the model will be loaded here like this so initially the structure will be open in etap software then after that it will be directly redirect to csi detailing software so now you can see here the model is uh, opening in etap software initially so now here it is exporting the grids stories joints frames so after that it will export the shell sections here like this okay so after that it will open the model here like this so here it is showing the warning message why because it is failing the respected frame sections under considerations of the building so that's why it is showing the warning message here so click on ok so firstly we have to edit the data as per the detailing specifications so for that select the detailing units option select the force units will be in kilonewton why because we have to apply the uh, force will be in kilonewton and load will be in meter so select the tons option for the respective steel section click on ok option so after that we have to select the uh, preferences option select the use standard preferences option so from this we need to select the is codal provision by changing aci to is 456 code click on ok option so here after this we need to select the concrete detailing preferences select the beam option rename that respected cb section to b here again i am selecting the uh, column section here select this respected column to c here okay so select the slab section so don't change anything here click on ok option directly go to rebar rules option so initially we need to uh, select the minimum spacing distance so here i am selecting the minimum spacing is 150 mm and my spacing is 450 mm okay so select the beams option here select the minimum spacing option is 150 here again this is also 150 and again this is also 150 and maximum spacing we need to select as 450 section 450 section and 450 section so click on the column section again you have to edit this expected value 150 here again this value to 450 here okay so click on select this respected ok option then after that directly click on ok option so that it will do the start designing check your respected uh, apartment structure under considerations of the load cases now you can see it is de designing the respected property under considerations of the is codal provision so after detailing process completed that complete details is showing on the left hand side here like this you can select any one of the story here just i am selecting simply story number three so click on the framing plan so this is the framing so this is the framing plan for the respective structure under considerations of the load cases and this is a rebar plan for the respective slab section so after that it will show you the top rebar plan here like this again it will show you the bottom rebar plan and this is the all rebar plan for the respective slab section and this is the top plan again it will be consisting of bottom plan again it will be consisting of section a section section bb section okay so this is a reinforcement profile a section here and this is a reinforcement profile b section here okay so directly i am selecting the reinforcement kg for the respective slab so that it will load the rebar section bars for the respective slab under considerations of your respected design section okay so now you can see it is loading this respected bars under consideration here like this for the bottom section as well as the top section okay so it is loading here like this so it was completely loaded with uh, complete reinforcement it will be consisting of the reinforcement bar c for the respective slab section here like this okay so after that we need to see the frame section results select the beam detailing option concrete beams select the framing plan so this is a framing plan diagram which is related to the beam layout diagram for the different levels of the uh, building structure under consideration so here i am selecting directly uh, elevation section select the three section it will be consisting of different types of the beam select any one of the beam just i am selecting here as 4b11 just i am selecting a here 
so it will be consisting of four bars at the top and it will be consisting of two bars at the bottom again section b it will be consisting of three bars at the top again it will be consisting of two bars at the bottom directly click on the reinforcement cage view so that it will load the reinforcement cage view for the respected beam under considerations of the load section okay so now we can see at the section profile a it will be consisting of four bars here okay the four bars was distributed towards this respected distance here like this so after that it will be consisting of two bars at the top okay again in the same process we need to see the column detailing select the column detailing option column reinforcement section framing plan this is the center to center distance between the column for the each section select this respected elevations and sections next i'm selecting c3 section select uh, uh, elevation section a so this is the elevation section a elevation section 2 again section a here okay so it will be consisting of your respective reinforcement bars here like this which is consisting of approximately of total number of the bars is 12 numbers here okay which is consisting of the corner section bars is approximately of 32 section again it will be consisting of the remaining section bars of 22 mm diameter for the respected column section okay again in the same process you can see the b section again you can see the c section d section also okay so now you can see the reinforcement cage view diagram so this is the uh, reinforcement cage view diagram here for the respected column section it will be consisting of your respected reinforcement values diagram here like this okay for the respected column section okay so in the same process you can see the reinforcement cage view for the remaining bar section under consideration okay so this is the complete process of designing of small apartment building structure under considerations of the lateral loading condition system and gravity loading condition system by using csi detailing software if you have any queries about this respected video please try to text me your questions in the below comment box i will try to give the answer for that respected questions thank you